His Majesty King Bhumibhun Adulya Det the Great is all the Thai people's most beloved monarch. Throughout his reign, His Majesty has devoted his mind, intellect, and physical strength to performing royal duties for the benefit and happiness of the Thai people of the entire kingdom. His Majesty has even allocated areas within the compound of his private residence for research and experimentation in pursuit of solutions to problems facing his subjects. Having witnessed the suffering of his people, especially farmers in the rural areas, the majority of the country's population, His Majesty the King has simulated within the compounds of his private residence the conditions of various specific problems so that he may himself study them at close range and find the appropriate solutions thereto. This led to the advent in around 1961 of the Royal Chitlada Agricultural Projects, which can be considered as the first of the development projects initiated by His Majesty the King and the origin of all other such projects subsequently undertaken. The objectives of the Royal Chitlada project are to serve as study, experimentation and research projects aimed at solving various problems concerned with agriculture. Once they yield results, the projects are used for demonstration purposes so that those interested members of the general public could visit and study them and make use of the knowledge thus gained for their own purposes. Another important point is that the projects are not profit-oriented. The Royal Jitlada projects are divided into two types, non-commercial projects and semi-commercial projects. Non-commercial projects implement His Majesty the King's initiatives in the field of development of agricultural productivity, importance being given to the long-term betterment of the farmer's quality of life so that they could become self-sufficient and, at the same time, to the conservation of natural resources. This type of project receives advice and support from the government agencies concerned as well as the private sector. Semi-commercial projects involve studies and experimentation on the processing of agricultural products. The products are sold but not for making maximum profit or business competition. The profit they gain is used for the latter's further development of the Royal Chitlada project. With the aim of sustaining an ancient royal tradition, as well as advancing the morale of the farmers and giving them encouragement, His Majesty the King graciously revived, in 1960, the Royal Plowing Ceremony, an ancient royal tradition which continues to be performed to this day. On His Majesty's request, the Rice Department planted on an experimental basis within the compound of Jitlada Palace various rice varieties from all parts of Thailand for the conduct of studies on rice cultivation methods, including crop rotation for soil improvement and the optimum utilization of the fields. The results obtained were then disseminated to the farmers. In the first year of the experiment in 1961, His Majesty the King himself drove Iron Buffalo, a four-wheel tractor, to plow the rice field. He also later on sowed the seeds and reaped the paddy. One part of the seeds obtained from the experimental rice field of the Royal Titlada projects each year is used in the royal plowing ceremony of the following year. 
The demonstration forest project began when His Majesty the King, on his way to Klai Gangwon Palace in Prachuap Kirikan Province for a short stay, saw along the highway in Taiyang District of Pechaburi Province a large number of young na trees, or dipterocarp trees, being exploited. So he initiated the preservation of this valuable species by planting its seeds at Klai Gangwon Palace. Then, planted the dipterocarp seedlings in the compound of Titlada Palace. Subsequently, on His Majesty's orders, a number of tree species were brought from all over the country and cultivated together within the compound of Titlada Palace to create a demonstration forest for the study of tree species. Out of concern for the health of the population with low income, His Majesty the King has undertaken the study of fish culture with the aim of providing a source of easily produced good quality protein. In 1968, the Japanese Emperor Akihito, then the Crown Prince, presented His Majesty with fingerlings of tilapia nilotica. His Majesty subsequently named that fish species Nin, which is derived from the word nilotica in its scientific name and His Majesty gave the fish to the farmers for further propagation and consumption. The Jitlada Dairy Farm can be considered the starting point of the semi-commercial type of Royal Jitlada projects. Upon receiving a gift of a few heads of cows and bulls in 1962, His Majesty the King donated an amount of his personal funds towards the construction of the Chitlada Dairy Farm for the purpose of conducting research on and disseminating dairy farming techniques, including the demonstration of grass growing for cattle feeding, a technique called grass farming. In 1969, having perceived the surplus in the fresh milk market, His Majesty the King decided that a study be undertaken on the possibility of turning raw milk into milk powder for long-term storage. So Thailand's first milk powder factory, all designed and constructed by Thais, was established and was conferred the name Suwindusit Milk Powder Plant by His Majesty. Furthermore, His Majesty has given assistance to dairy farmers by setting up a milk collection center to receive raw milk from them for pasteurization and distribution to the public at a low price in order to promote fresh milk consumption. Later on, experiments were undertaken on the production of milk tablets from milk powder. Broken tablets were also collected and utilized as material for the production of milk tablets for pets. Further, the very pure condensate obtained from the milk evaporation process went to producing distilled water for use with car batteries, a starting point for studies on the operation of the present-day distilled drinking water plant. So it can be considered that maximum use is being made of all the stages of the production process. On the occasion of His Majesty the King's 60th birthday anniversary in 1987, cheese production equipment from the Netherlands was presented to him and led to the construction of the cheese plant. Her Royal Highness Princess Maha Chakri Sirinton subsequently conferred the name of Maha Mongkhon cheese on the product obtained. The cheese plant places emphasis on studying the use of raw milk to obtain various products such as cheese and ice cream, and that of the milk remaining from the skimming process to manufacture pasteurized skim milk ready to drink low-fat drinking yogurt and yogurt. The pure cream skimmed from milk goes to the production of butter and sweetened condensed milk. 
By the end of 2002, the milk surplus recurred, leading the Royal Jitlada Project to set up a UHT milk plant to help dairy farmers, as well as to demonstrate the process of manufacturing from fresh milk, UHT milk, that can be stored for a long time without refrigeration. It also sells the products to the public, including schools participating in the government school milk project. The products are packaged in both cartons and plastic bags. While visiting the people in various parts of the country, His Majesty the King had witnessed the problem of the farmer's poverty. He consequently gave the advice that farmers should form themselves into groups along the lines of a cooperative with their own barns and carrying out rice milling activities themselves. The Royal Ditladar projects have been carrying out rice storage and milling studies and demonstrations since 1971. Moreover, His Majesty the King is far-sighted and fully aware of the energy problem facing the country. Earlier on, a windmill had been presented to him for the study of wind energy, a renewable type of energy for use as a substitute for electricity in water pumping. Later on, out of concern over the possibility of oil shortage or falling price of sugarcane in the future, his Majesty gave in 1985 an instruction that a study be undertaken on the cost of producing alcohol from sugarcane for use as an alternative source of energy. Fuel production experimentation is another project of which the implementation was initially finalized.